guys, it's Jamie coming to you live from the moon, where we're going to do some science experiments. Stay tuned. program where we're going to talk about moon craters. You guys know anything about moon craters? How are they created? How do they get up there? What do they even look like? Well, let's talk about it. So, if we check this picture out, you can see moon craters are just like those big circles or those holes that are up in the moon. And you might see them if you look up in the moon in the night sky, you're going to see these circles. Uh, some of them are big, some of them are smaller, some are really dark and some are not as dark. And so what, how, why are there so many differences? What changes with a moon crater? Like how does it look different? So we have an experiment today where we have a couple simple things such as flour. We've got some cocoa powder or some um, hot chocolate mix and then some sprinkles. And then of course, some rocks. So these rocks are going to represent asteroids flying around in space that are then going to crash into our little mini moon that we have here. Um, and so what we have for all these different things, we've got our sprinkles and they're going to show us different particles that might be further within the lunar soil. So let's see, I think we'll do some blue because it's going to pop good. So I'm just going to sprinkle some blue around here in our flower. And all we needed for this was a pan you can use like a pie tin or we have here a big tray you can do whatever as long as you get about an inch of flour within there that's the key and then we're gonna get some sprinkles it's pretty good the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna add our top level of our lunar soil we're gonna add some of this uh, chocolate mix so let me get a scoop here and to help me get kind of like a nice even coating so it's not all just in the middle we are going to use this little like sieve to help us kind of get it mixed around. I'm using my left hand. That's challenging. Might have to switch this. So see how if you just kind of like shake it around, you can get a little bit more of an even coat around your container. Cover it up. Looks pretty good, right? We've got a good lunar soil there. And so now we're going to take our asteroids that are going to crash into the lunar soil. The things we're going to look for are going to be what we see here. So you're going to have these big circles and on the outer part you're going to have this outer rim that's created. And then you might see some lines kind of come out. Those are called the ejecta lines. And those happen when something big crashes and lands and you have things fly out. All right, so we've got our rocks that are going to be like our asteroids that are going to help us create our moon craters. And I'm going to start with the smallest one first. So I'm going to hold it up at a good height and then I'm going to drop it and see what happens. So you guys ready? There we go. Perfect. So this is our smallest crater. So we can see some of these ejecta lines that are coming out here from our white flower. And you can see a couple of our blue sprinkles kind of came up. So that shows that when you have uh, things crashing into the surface, you're going to have different parts of the soil level that are going to fly up and kind of get tossed around. So that's pretty fun. We're going to leave that guy in there. I'm going to do our medium sized rock and I might try and come at a little bit of an angle so we can see what that does because there's going to be a couple of things that adjust or change or affect the size of our craters. It's going to be the size of asteroid coming in, the speed at which it comes in, and the angle. So we want to make sure we try and test all those things. So we're going to come at an angle here. So a little bit of an angle and you can see some of our ejecta patterns coming this way and it came at an angle this way. You can see they're a little bit longer coming this way and they're shorter coming that way. So it's pretty cool. And we got some more sprinkles coming up. We're gonna do our, our big papa here. 
drop him in. I'm gonna come over here in this corner, hopefully. Three. Oh boy. That was a big one. So we got a lot of ejected patterns here. It almost looks like a beautiful sun, which is kind of nice how the little rays coming out everywhere. And then you see all of our little sprinkles, so. So we have our rocks that went into our moon here, and we can kind of take them out and just look at kind of what happens. So we've got our rocks, which are our impactors, what crashed into the surface to give us this kind of change. Um, and you can see then the outer rim, just like on the picture, you can see the outer rims on the craters here. We've got our outer rim where you can see the flower, and then some of our um, rays or the ejecta that kind of came out where you can see the flower went flying sideways a little bit based on the angle that we came in with our impactor. So you can see there's longer ones over here and shorter ones over there, which is kind of cool. For our little rock, if I pull him out carefully, you can see it's got a much smaller um, rim because obviously it was a smaller impactor, smaller rock, um, and not many uh, rays going out for our flower. And then now, of course, our big guy here, pull out the big rock and you can see the outer rim is much larger compared to our other two. You can see it's much deeper the way the rock went because you can see the white flower down below. It even went all the way through our layers of our cocoa. And then a lot more sprinkles came flying out and our rays that are fanning out extend a lot further because this came in, because it's heavier, it's more of a mass with a lot more force of it as it came crashing down, which is pretty cool. So not only do our sprinkles show us um, that they flew out, but it also talks about the different layers of our soil and how you're gonna have different parts coming up, which is really cool. So let's try another one here. I'm gonna take, first I'll take this guy. I'm gonna bring him just straight down because our first one came in at an angle for our medium sized rock. So I'm gonna try and bring him straight down here and see what happens. So about the same height. straight down and you can see if I kind of lift it up a little bit um, you have your impact crater but we don't have very many of our rays coming out like this one had far more rays coming out this guy didn't allow the force just went down and not out so now I mean, let's try the big guy see what happens um, I might have him come in at an angle this time And here, this is interesting because before all of our craters or our impactors, our rocks just kind of sat inside of our crater. This one kind of rolled out, which is nice. So if I take him out here, you can see he completely destroyed our first crater of our little rock. Got some rays coming out, um, but yeah, not much of our rim because it kind of got changed as it rolled out or bounced out of our crater. So this is an experiment that you guys can do at home to kind of replicate or show how craters are created on the moon and other surfaces of planets up in space. Um, you can see how they might be different, try different things. I want to see pictures, so if you try it at home, send some pictures below in the comments. Thanks guys. Bye. on the moon anymore.